the first step of our implant planning workflow is to select the CT data for our patient. So uh, right here I have a desktop implant for and then DICOM directory. So this is uh, one level above the DICOM RM directory. So I select implant four and ExoCAD on the right side window um, chooses the series of images. So you either have a, a single image series or a series with 512 slices. That obviously is the um, CT data that we're looking for. So we load our CT data. And the first step in the wizard is to define the density references. So you'll see here in the wizard box on the left, we have soft tissue, bone, tooth, and threshold. So we need to define each of those. With our surface threshold uh, slider bar here, um, you can see how we can allow uh, a certain density, uh, radio density, to show through and eliminate. Um, and so we need to define each of those uh, categories with a specific density. So once I start to see soft tissue here, um, I'm going to say that is the soft tissue and I'm going to click define value. I have a green checkbox next to soft tissue and now we have bone highlighted. So I'm going to move the threshold up to where I see minimal uh, removal of bone. So maybe right there is my bone threshold, and I'm going to click Define Value. And now we have Tooth Threshold, and this is where I'm going to just show the enamel. Okay, and we had a, a exo plan is going to take a guess at what we want to start out with. So I'm going to go right to where we just show enamel and click define value. And this final step is the threshold. This is where you want the cortical plate to be outlined with nothing else in blue. Um, and this will help us define what is in bone and out of bone. So when I have a bunch of blue scatter here uh, in the patient's mouth, this is the sagittal view uh, of the patient. You can see I have all this scatter, uh, like where the tongue is, um, I, that is too low of a threshold. So I want to remove that scatter maybe to about here and this will define where the um, outer extent of the cortical plate is. Um, so this is going to define uh, where the implant is in and out of bone. So I'm going to click define value there and that saves those four reference values to our case. So we just click OK, and that's when we move forward with define panoramic curve.